Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again with another episode. And by the way, I know it was you. What did I do? You put the Greg Brady Mego back on the shelf back there. It wasn't me. I hate dolls. Whatever. I took it down to the big cans and the guys took it to the dump, so it's gone forever. Okie dokie. Anyway, it's time for another Halloween time review. So let's take a look at the pumpkin wrapper from Hasbro's Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Raz Holly, hit the music! The Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Hasbro's campaign to release a line of figures based on Power Rangers in the same vein as Marvel Legends, has actually been pretty cool so far. The figures are pretty sweet, but I was waiting for some monsters. Power Rangers as a series had some of the most creative monsters in the history of television, and a favorite to many fans has got to be the Pumpkin Rapper. As if this show wasn't crazy enough, the Rangers are sent to investigate a pumpkin patch by Zordon, to first having their heads hilariously turn into pumpkins, then having to fight pumpkin-headed putties. Finally, the Rangers realize the source of the power is a giant pumpkin on the edge of the field. To wake it up, the Rangers perform a rap. Kind of. Trick or treat. Your incomplete. To the Power Rangers you can be. All you are is a pumpkin me. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this provokes the pumpkin rapper to awaken and put a beat down on the Rangers with the help of the pumpkin headed goons. And stopping only to rap during every break in the battle. Do you think that's something you can do? Well, I got some friends who'd like to meet you. Attack now! Get up! Yeah. It's kind of dumb. Actually, it's one of the stupidest things I've ever seen, but that's why I like it. Anyhow, the pumpkin rapper kicks their asses for a while until Tommy shows up and makes the save. Finally, the Rangers combine the power blaster, which they should have done in the first place, and blast that pumpkin-headed MC back to hell. Anyway, I can't wait any longer, so let's take a look at the pumpkin rapper from Power Rangers Lightning Collection by Hasbro. All right, so let's take a look at Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Pumpkin Wrapper um, in the box here. A very nice looking packaging here. I have already gone on record as being a big fan of uh, Hasbro's uh, uh, style guide on this uh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection. The artwork is very, very fucking cool. Um, very simple. Um, you know, just the, the, the no lines, uh, illustrator, fucking vector artwork, very fucking simple, but very effective and very nice. Um, less is more in this case. And, uh, in, in the, the point of the figure here, you can see a lot of what's going on, a lot of what the figure comes with. It's all right here inside the package. Um, so we've got the, the figure itself, the pumpkin wrapper, um, is displayed and we have the pumpkin heads that you can put on the Power Rangers. It comes with three. Um, it'd be nice if it came with, uh, maybe, uh, two more, uh, one more, um, to, to, to get them all on everybody at once. That'd be nice. Uh, but that's fine. Um, and then uh, it comes with uh, a couple of hands, a couple hand changes. Got some grippy hands. Got a um, a, a punching fist and a uh, and I'm like one of them, kind of like this because these things hold. But that thing holds too. I don't know. Maybe just sort of a, a whatever hand. Um, so you can get all kinds of gestures and stuff. And he's got some vines um, that he can shoot vines out onto the Power Rangers with. Um, very cool. Looks pretty poseable. Um, let's not wait any longer longer and get this fucking figure outside of the box. Okay, so from Hasbro's Lightning Collection, here he is. It is the pumpkin wrapper in all of his uh 
pumpkin rappery glory. Um, here he is. He is the uh, the the monster from the pumpkin wrapper episode where he you know, turns them all into pumpkin heads, and then they have a rap battle, and it's ridiculous. And then they have a fight, and uh, they eventually blow him up with the uh, with the the power blaster. And this is the figure, and he looks pretty much just like um, the uh, the guy in the in the show. He's got the upside down pumpkin head, um, and and the uh, you know the, the human sized body and uh, he's got these nice little elf boots lots of articulation here double knees double elbows wrists shoulders uh, three pieces on the on the torso here um, wow very very cool looking comes with lots of accessories here he's got these uh, pumpkin heads that you can put on um, the power rangers or the putties and uh, and use them like so um, and, they, and they're pretty cool they can stack up and stuff like that. It's very very neat also comes with the vines the vine whips that he can use as weapons has an extra pair of hands has a punching fist and another sort of grabbing or gesturing style hand also comes with just like the rest of the lightning collection the uh translucent green um power lightning horseshit thing um that you can use with the vines or use on his hand itself and uh you know, put a light through it all that other good shit um looks cool uh, one main issue with this thing has been, I mean, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of people have had this issue with it and it should be pretty obvious by now as we're looking at it. Um, if you're familiar with what it looks like on the show, if you're familiar with what it looks like on the fucking box, why the hell is the, is the inside of this pumpkin not colored in? It's uh, it's about just as orange on the the inside of the eyes and the mouth as it is on the outside, and it ends up just looking kind of cheap. Um, it looks like they did try to do kind of a wash on it, um, but it didn't it didn't exactly take on the inside, or or that they, they they failed to put the fucking application of the paint on the inside. And of course, of course, you could fix this yourself. You could go in. I do plan on myself going in and painting the insides to make it a little bit better. Um, but why the fuck should I have to? Why should I have to finish the action figure um, after I bought it? I bought this thing. I bought it before it went on sale. Yeah, so I bought it for full fucking retail price, which was 30 fucking bucks. And for 30 goddamn dollars, which is $10 more than a regular fucking... Power Rangers action figure, or a Marvel Legends, or a, a, a WWE figure, or an AEW figure, or any of these other six inch, uh, six and a half inch, whatever figures uh, that you find out at retail. Um, and for, for $10 more, I shouldn't have to do extra work to make the figure look good. Um, and it looks okay, but yeah. Um, and, and you're going to see this problem in another one of the monsters that we might see later on. Um, and, and yeah, it's fucking disappointing. It's disappointing because before all of that, this was actually a fucking awesome figure. If they had actually just gone to all the trouble of finishing the fucking paint job, it would have been great. It would have been really, really nice. And so th that's really the only problem. Just paint the fucking figure right and this thing would have been perfect. Um, otherwise, that is the pumpkin wrapper from Hasbro's Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Well, that's it for the pumpkin wrapper. Let us know what you think of this figure in the comments down below. Kinda creepy. Yeah, I guess the pumpkin wrapper is kinda creepy. No, I meant how that doll kept showing up. If I was you, I would get rid of that necklace too. You're not scaring me, Jess. And I'm not getting rid of the necklace just so you could put it back here on the... Hey, where'd the necklace go? I told you, Gorilla, it's creepy stuff. Give it back. I don't have it. Fine, you know what? You want scary, you want creepy, well you called down the thunder and now you're gonna get it for the next two weeks. You son of a bitch.